saying to yourself, whoa, thank you for you. You're posting this kind of early. It's not Sunday, I know. It's because we had a lot of big news yesterday. Wow, a lot of news happened. Wow, we want to get into it. We want to touch on it. We want to talk about it and everything. And finally, we have to see your actions at ABK Bill, the activist of Liz T. He'll be coming to an end. Wow, this is just amazing. So, wow. So, sit back, relax. What a lot we want to talk about. Yes. I know I'm early. I want to put this out here. Hold on. Well, there was a lot of news yesterday, which was uh, Tuesday, um, July the 11th. Um, so uh, now before I get into uh, what I want to talk about um, on this end, uh, first of all, like like I always say that, hey, if you're on, uh, if you're definitely on YouTube, go ahead and please like, share, subscribe uh, to the channel. If this is your first time here, please do so. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Even put, you know, hey, go ahead and put the, hit that like button as well. If you're on Spotify or any other uh, audio service or whatever like that, you know, please share as well, subscribe as well. So definitely, um, we would uh, we definitely appreciate you all. Appreciate your support out there um while we do this you know hey this 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 is something that i do for you all this is not something that i do for myself this is not something that um you know i just uh you're like oh well you know i just do it i enjoy doing it but i enjoy doing it for you all so it's that's that's the thing uh on this end so i enjoy doing it for all of y'all out there so it's uh it was pretty it was pretty wild yesterday um pretty wild yesterday and uh i gotta say before we go into um uh before we go into the ftc versus the xbox update here uh on this end um i want to go back to about close to about a year when the 69 or 70 billion dollar uh activate the uh the acquisition or merger was talked about back then uh the beginning of january of uh, last year and um the this particular deal have to go through a lot of scrutiny um it just this wasn't a deal where you know where we put up 500 million dollars and voila and you know we we're closing in the fourth quarter or whatever like that um this is a billion dollar this is a multi-billion dollar deal that have to go through a lot of scrutiny and Sure enough, it 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 went through a lot um, uphill. Uh, I think there was like thirty seven or thirty thirty nine countries or whatnot that uh, that appro- that approved the deal, and and the deal was approved. Um, started with uh, Brazil. Brazil saw that it would be good for competition, and Brazil led the charge and led the way, and other countries started to fall behind or whatever like that, and so. It got to the it got to the CMA. The CMA blocked it because of the cloud. Uh, they had concerns about the cloud, which was a, which was ridiculous if you ask me. The cloud is not even remotely close to console or anything like that. Um, so it uh, so so they pretty much nicked the deal then uh, on that end. So next up. What happened next? They uh, they made sure you know that you know it went uh, that 
it uh, went to the EU. The EU approved it and said that it would be good for competition. Um, and so being that the uh, being being that uh, you know it it, it showed that it'll be good for competition. It 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 uh, went to the FTC. This is where we are right now with the FTC. The FTC wanted to put in what is called an injunction to actually stop the deal or whatnot. Um, so, but, uh, but there was a lot that had happened. Didn't sound right. There was a lot that had to happen for this to take place. So it went before a federal judge, um, Judge Corley. Uh, and the thing about it is Microsoft won that yesterday. They won that yesterday. Um, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was so much news to the point that I like I couldn't even keep up with it. So I'm probably going to keep this uh, keep the stream kind of short uh, on this end because I uh, do want to try to keep you know come back to this sometime Sunday and talk about this too as well. Um, but uh, so yeah, I'll keep this kind of short. So I, I want to go into it, uh, look at uh, take a look at what. Tom Warren of The Verge talked about yesterday. I'll always talk about The Verge. I'm also going to put a link in description inside the, uh, those of you that are on uh, YouTube, I'll put the links of my sources here on that because I like to, I like to read in an immersive mode because you know, for some reason, when you go to the actual webpage, sometimes they have like lots of, uh, lots of, uh, advertisements and things like that, um, that will, uh, that that was shown. So Tom Warren from The Verge wrote this yesterday. So um, so basically we'll start with this here. Uh, uh, so it says the California judge has allowed Microsoft to close his acquisition of Ac Ac Activision Blizzard after five days of grueling testimony. Microsoft still faces an ongoing antitrust case by the Federal Trade Commission, but Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley has listened to the arguments from both the FTC and Microsoft and decided to deny the regulatory regulators' request for a preliminary injunction. In a ruling submitted today by Judge Corley, says the following: This is what the judge says. Microsoft ac Microsoft acquisition of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. The scrutiny has paid off. Microsoft has committed in writing, in public, and in courts to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for ten years, on parity with Xbox. I, I keep going back one of my one of my previous podcasts. I keep saying, why why does Phil have to explain himself? Plenty of times, why do I have to explain themselves that, you know, hey, is Call of Duty going to still be on there? What what? There's nothing to fear here. It, you know, the word is on is on court records now. Is is it's, re it's ready to go. Um, it made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Switch. And it entered several agreements to, for the first time, bring Activision's content to several cloud gaming services. This course responsibility in the case is narrow. It is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated, pending resolution of the FTC's administrative action. For the reasons explained, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevail on its claim this particular vertical merger in this specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer access to Call of Duty and other Activision contents. The motion for preliminary injunction is therefore denied. Wow. <laughs> So it goes on to say here that, uh, that Tom Warren wrote that uh, Judge Corley has clearly sided with Microsoft on his con commitments to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, even extend the game to Nintendo Switch. To be honest with you, Microsoft didn't have to do that. I mean, honestly, they didn't have to do that. But, you know, what, you know, but, you know, they're doing it. And you look at it from a business standpoint, if they didn't do this, then it will look very, it would be bad for the brand of xbox you know on this end because there are so many players out there that plays call of duty and that not only play call of duty on consoles but they play call of duty on mobile as well that's where king comes in at the the abk activision blizzard king that's where king comes in at king 
uh, they do more of the mobile side of things. So a lot of people play the, the game on mobile as well. Um, despite the FTC's uh, challenge of Microsoft's cloud a, a, agreements, Judge Corley took them into consideration in her decision. The court ruling even agrees with Microsoft in theory about Nintendo Switch being a part of the console market, but also accepts the FTC can reasonably claim is not. Judge Corley has also agreed that the FTC, that the console market does not include PCs. Sorry, my PC people out there, um, brothers and sisters. Yeah, they didn't include, <laughs> didn't include you, but uh, but but hey, yeah, we still love y'all. Um, on that end, all right. In a statement following Judge Corley's decision, Microsoft President uh, Brad Smith said the company was grateful to the court court in San Francisco for this quick and thorough decision and hope other jurisdictions will continue working towards a timely resolution. Xbox head Phil Spencer, a key witness in the trial, also tweeted a reaction. We're grateful to the court for swiftly deciding in our favor. The evidence shows that Activision Blizzard deal is good for the industry and the FTC's claim about console switching, multi-game subscription service, and cloud don't reflect the rel relative realities of the game market says spencer so this is from tom warren uh at the verge so you there you have it i mean you know you know it it is it's it's a it's a it's a it's a done it's a done deal of of what of of what they uh did here so you know hey xbox xbox one <laughs> xbox xbox one so he, and like I said, I'm going to post the links in the uh, description as my sources because I like to read in immersive mode. Like I said, but it, it gets to when you see too many advertisements floating all over the place. You feel like you're swatting flies, and I don't like that. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, so that is basically you know what that is. So you know there was a lot of people that. Was talking about because if you looked if you, if you actually listened to the case you looked at the FTC they uh, they really didn't have too much of a strong case a strong argument if you looked back over it looked on the court records and everything like that although we had other part we had other parties um, I remember now you know I, you know, guys I, I ran on fanboys a lot and that there were a lot of fanboys. It's like the FTC was, you know, was giving it to Microsoft and the FTC was doing this, the FTC was doing that and everything. But when we looked at it, we looked at like, well, the FTC, and I'm looking at it from just a consumer standpoint, not a gamer standpoint. Now, mind you, I game on multiple devices. I don't game on just Xbox or, you know, any other. I game on multiple devices. I game on PC, game on Xbox, game on Amazon Luna. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I do certain games, you know, certain things. So when the, uh, so when they looked at this, you know, they looked at it from a consumer standpoint, you know, saying that, you know, Hey, listen, it's not going to, it's not going to gobble up competition. Now, if you want, if you want to gobble up competition, you need to look at Tencent. Tencent is like the biggest leader of game. <laughs> look how many publishers they got. You know, you got to look at that. Um, you got to look at, you know, all, you know, all other aspects. So you're looking at even when Microsoft gets this, they are only only about third place in that end. So it's uh, it was a done deal. So this came down probably about maybe close to 11 Central Standard Time um yesterday and i was going to i wanted to save it for sunday but then again i said well wait maybe it maybe it maybe may not die down since then but i wanted to go ahead and post it the very next day uh so yeah so that's what i wanted to do that um here as well so the ftc versus xbox the microsoft xbox wins that they can close the deal as as soon as uh, they want to try to get it closed as soon as Monday, uh, on that end. So, uh, I, uh, we still want to watch out for it. We, we don't know, we don't know what the FCC plans to do. So we won't still watch out for it. So we're going to still look into it and see what they, what they plan to do. But from, from what we look at, we look at, they pretty much got, they pretty much got this They're you know, and like, um, um, 
they want to close up on this deal pretty quickly and pretty soon. Now, I want to go on. I, I, I want to touch up on something after a quick break here. Uh, that as soon as that came down, um, the CMA wanted to talk. I mean, the way I looked at it was like, you know, the judge, hey, we, we want to stop. We want to stop. We want to block the merger. You know, CMA did it for they blocked it. FTC wanted to, to put an injunction into it. it. Goes before the judge. Judge denies it. And then now CMA is saying, hey, Microsoft, we want, let's talk. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go into that and talk about that uh, a little bit. So uh, so don't go nowhere. We're going to have a quick little break here. And, um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Now the CMA wants to talk. Mm -hmm. Got some more some more information. We coming back. We'll be right back. Say, don't go nowhere. Welcome back to the coffee table. Uh, once again, I'm your host, Kingfish737 here, aka Mel. So, you like I said, wow, we got a lot we want to talk about here uh, as well. Like I said, if you're on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe if you can. Like I said, I do appreciate all the support you all give to me uh, on this end. I'm just a small channel, um, you know, hey, but sometimes, you know, despite not small beginnings, right? Um, so yeah, we, 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 we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. I, I appreciate all the people that I do uh, reach out to that do listen to my content and do, uh, and do all that. And also on Spotify as well, please, uh, you know, Hey, share, subscribe well as well. Um, normally, um, too, I also have a blog and everything like that, that I do, uh, that I do update. And so you can see the, uh, if you're on YouTube, you'll see the, uh, the website scrolling across there. Uh, at kingfish737.wixsite.com forward slash the coffee table. Uh, usually I update blogs up there. I may do a blog later on this evening. Um, it just depends on, you know, everything else. Got a little bit of technical difficulties, but I'm thinking I'm working through it. Hey, this is this this is life here. You know, you know, you, not everything's going to be rainbows, unicorns, and all that good stuff. Am I right? I'm not going to be like that all the time on that end. All right, so we're going to move on to our next segment here. So our next segment here, we're going to talk about the CMA wants to talk. Hmm, wonder what they want to talk about. <laughs> hey, there is a lot that they definitely want to talk about and talk about and discuss. Now, I'm going to go over briefly the history about the CMA because, like I said, when they when they did this, they did this to where uh they did this to where the the uh they they blocked it based on the 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 cloud the cloud information they they blocked it on that and which didn't make sense when blocking that on the uh uh on the cloud information uh, because the cloud, the cloud market was a market all by itself. It really did. It did make sense to block this because, like, oh, the the you know this this is going to make the cloud be. No, I'm saying, well, I'll put it to you like this: If Stadia was still living, Amazon Luna, Google Stadia, Amazon Luna, um, and all that, if Stadia was still living and Stadia and Amazon Luna was getting over. I don't know. Let's just say close to uh, four, 
let's let's just say close to five million of five million for each one of them. I I might see where your argument will come in at. You know, the console will kind of overshadow that uh that cloud market, but the cloud market is not even like even what five percent. Yeah, when you have the console and PC market and also the mobile market. Now the mobile market is actually is actually doing well. Do you know there are more people that play Call of Duty on mobile than they do on console or PC? I'm totally serious. It's just, just uh, there was a t- statistic, if you say it right, <laughs> that showed that it just the people play Call of Duty 50 plus 50 plus percent uh that play on the mobile. And I can see that because I played uh I played some of the Battle Royale games on the my, my mobile devices as well. I I I played uh, Pug G on mobile and I came from time to time I come up number one. I play Apex Legend on mobile and sometimes I come like number two on one. Now if I play it on my console, I may come up like number four or something like that. So it just depends um on that end. And so, so that is, uh, so that, that that's the thing uh, on that end. So, uh, when we when we look at it, so mobile is a is is a, is, is a is a good thing. Um, and so I'm going to be perfectly honest with you about that. So, um, so CMA wants to talk. So let's take a look here. And we're going to go to. Uh, I said I'm dealing with technical difficulties here, but it's okay. All right, here we go. That's Tom Warren. Uh, okay, the Verge again. So this is it. All right, so this is the Verge again. Like I said, I'll put all my all my uh, links in here on this end. So okay. So Microsoft and the UK Competition and Market Authority have both agreed to pause their legal battles over the proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition in order to further negotiate. Microsoft has just won a separate ruling with the U.S. federal court against the Federal Trade Commission, uh, FTC, and the CMA is the late, uh, the last regulatory preventing the Xbox um a maker from completing the 68.7 billion Activision deal. The UK regulator moved to block the Microsoft proposed acquisition in April, and Microsoft was due to appeal that decision with a hearing set uh, set to start on July 28. Microsoft has now agreed with the CMA to pause its appeal uh, process to look at how the trans to look at how the transaction could be modified to address the CMA's cloud gaming concerns. After today's court decision, the U.S. in the U.S., our focus now turns back to the U.K. While and uh, while we ultimately disagree with the CMA's concerns, we are considering how the tran- transaction might be modified in order to address those concerns in a way that is acceptable, acceptable to the CMA, says Microsoft President Brad Smith in a statement to The Verge. In order to pr- Prioritize work on these proposals. Microsoft and Activision has agreed with the CMA that a stay of litigation in the UK would be in any in, in public's interest. Any parties have made a joint submission to the Competition Appeal Tribunal to uh, to this effect, which is CAT, uh, you know, Competition Appeal uh, Tribunal. So the CMA confirmed the, the, the decision in a statement to the Verge, noting that uh, knowing that the regu- regulatory is ready to consider any proposals from Microsoft to restructure the transaction in in a way that would address the concerns set set out in our final report. All right. So basically, let me so look, so let me see what happens. So FTC, you know, pretty much gave the win to Microsoft. Soon after that, not even like. 30 minutes after that, soon after that, the CMA is like, okay, we're ready to talk. And so now, you know, uh, not sure what kind of agreement that they come about or whatnot yet, but it looked like that they're, from what I'm looking at, it looked like they're really at the negotiating table trying to get this. Now, the reason why I believe the CMA wanted to talk was because the CMA did not want to be the only person left at the deny table. So, you know, they were going to be 10, they were going to be 10 toes down and, and stand up, stand up on their feet and say, Hey, no, 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 no. We standing by what we said. That's that. 
but after being, you know, but after being the big slaughter of what happened with the FTC, now FTC, you know, pretty much brought their case before the judge to show, hey, listen, this is this is what, you know, just this, this is what what's what this is what we're doing and everything like that so they brought their case before the but you know before the judge the ftc did all the heavy lifting and so the cma looked at it and like you know oh, wow we we don't have much of a case you know here so why why do we what, what can we do so being being that uh being that happened you know now they wanted to sit down they want to sit back at the table to renegotiate the terms or whatever like that. So that is pretty interesting uh, that they want to do that because at first, you know, when they first blocked it before it went to the FTC, they did, you know, they were just, they did, they, they, they stood on their toes. I'm like, no, 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 no. We, 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 we're going, we're going, we're going to stand here. We, we're going to do this. We, we're not going to, we're, we're not going, we're not going to fold under the pressure or anything like that. No way, you know, how, anything like that but guess what this here they uh they uh <laughs> they didn't want to be the ones at the table being the ones the only ones out there tonight because now the cma has a lot of pressure from the government out there in the uk and the public so the pre the pre the, pre the pressure was mounting before and um uh, the, the they they even had a like we have it have here in the states where they bring the people to, to Congress and that they believe that they brought the CMA to their parliament and the the questions that they asked they didn't like well wow you know no no you know it, it you know it made it look like that they was not open for business uh, so to speak. Um, yeah, so it made it look like they was not open for business uh, on that end. So, you know, it made them look bad. It made them look bad. Um, um, the, the, they made the UK look bad because now when you're trying to not have uh, a tech giant in the UK to provide to customers, now you want to kind of push them away from customers and say, hey, listen, uh, no, we, we we don't want you here. We want to, once you do that, then, you know, you're, you you you're doing it. So all to shout out to all our you know UK brothers and sisters over there and everything like that. Hopefully that the deal before, hopefully and I'm just going by a big chance that before Microsoft closes on Monday, um, hopefully that you know that they will close with the UK in mind. Hopefully they come to some type of consensus here, or they may close Monday and then still you know work out and hash things out with the. Uh, the CMA and find to try to get that to, together. So CMA wanted to talk about it. And like I said, as soon as the ruling came down yesterday, it was not even like maybe 30 minutes in the CMA said, okay, we want to seat at the table. You know, like, okay, the EU saw through this. So why, if the EU said that the deal is good and it's good for competition, why do you have a problem with it? You know, so you have to, you have to look at it. Now, a lot of people ask the question like, well, you know, well, well you know, doesn't this make, uh, Xbox big, it doesn't make it Microsoft big. No, 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 no. That's not the that's not the point. If you look at it from a business standpoint, not from a gamer standpoint, gamer standpoint, you're thinking, about, oh my god, they gonna have all these games and stuff like that. Great, wonderful. Yeah, I see that. I'll be in Game Pass. But if you look at it from a business standpoint, and I'm business one on one, when you have when you have competition, you want to force the other competitor to to compete so to speak. So um let's 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 do a uh, case study. So let's go back to back when oh let's say like the mid 70s or somewhere give or give or take around the range close to the close to the early 80s. You know Walmart starts off, you know, and everything like that starts growing, it's growing and growing and guess what? Kmart, Target, all of these Businesses start coming out wanting to make you know to try to try to uh, be the competition instead of them being the you know monopoly, 
And, you know, then start they start to grow, you know, grow and grow and grow and go into different cities in different cities, in different cities and different rural areas, things like that. So starting. So you so if you look at it from a case study, you know, you want competition. So where is that? I can I have a product at Walmart and let's just say it's one hundred dollars. But I look at Kmart, that same product is probably like fifty dollars. Hmm. I'm going to go over there. Well, Walmart probably be like, well, okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll roll back our prices, you know, from a hundred to, 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 from, from a hundred to probably, you know, $40, you know, why not? So, you know, so, so that's competition because when you have competition, competition will, uh, competition will help push, uh, push that, uh, on that end. So that's it. So that, that, that's it. CMA wants to talk. Wow. Go ahead, CMA. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk. I'll let you. I'll, we'll, we'll talk and everything like that. We will talk. We will talk. All right. So basically on the um, going to go ahead um, at the break, quick break, we're going to talk about the the after this news. I was good news all around. Good news all around. After the news that the Activision stock surged on the news, we're going to. We're going to look into that briefly here. So we're going to take a brief break here real quick and everything like that. Don't go nowhere. Like I said, once again, we're at the coffee table. Um, you know, I know it's early I'm doing this, but then again, like I said, you know, we, we're going to, we're, we're trying to pop out as much content as we can. But like I said, if you're on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe um, as well. Get that algorithm out there. Let me know. I'm out, let them know I'm out here in this universe. I'm also on Spotify. Please go ahead and share that as well on this. End. So we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. To the coffee table uh, again. Once again, I'm your host, Kingfish Seven Three Seven AK Mail here. Um, so we we're, we're just talking about the the news from yesterday. It was a lot of news that uh, that uh, that showed up. So wow. Uh, so yeah, now we're we're gonna talk about Activision stock. You may want to get in on this. So Activision stock had uh, surged. Uh, Activision stock surged up to eleven percent after the ruling. Um, this is by CNBC. No, this is by Forbes. Uh, then I'm pulling this up here. Give me one moment. Like I said, technical difficulties. Appreciate y'all being patient with me. Um, this is what happens when you're doing everything in live, uh, on the fly and also in live, uh, live as well. Activision Blizzard stock surges 11% after judge allows, uh, Microsoft merger. Oh, wow. 11%. Yeah, I saw I saw that it boosted up pretty, pretty big uh, on that. And I'm actually going to show you a graph that I saw yesterday. Um, Activision Blizzard stock price jumped up more than 11% on Tuesday after a federal judge paved the way for Microsoft to acquire the video game uh, giant despite a federal lawsuit alleging the merger would uh, stifle competition. Uh, key facts. Activision Blizzard started the morning at just under $83 a share before surging to 92.6 as of 1.15 p.m., roughly two hours after the federal judge Jacqueline Scott Corley turned down the Federal Trade Commission's request to temporarily block the Microsoft Activision merger on antitrust grounds. That's a two-year high for the stock, which 
uh, which last saw the price in July uh, 2021. Microsoft stock price hadn't had the same spikes, started the day around three three $332 a share before dipping around 327 around uh, 10 a.m. and then returning to 332. Um, like I said, their stocks, um, their their stocks, uh, Activision stocks was just blowing up. Um, uh, actually, if you, you can actually get in on stocks if you if you, if, you, if um, as well, you can, you can get in on this. Um, if you have a Cash App, you can actually go to Cash App. There's stocks and Cash App that you can purchase um, on that. So yeah, I, I actually I actually to be honest, which I actually. When I saw how the the, the 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 FTC trial was going, I actually purchased some stocks. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna purchase some Activision stocks, you know, because I I see how the trial was going with the FTC and like, yeah, yeah, I see I see how this is going, so I'm gonna purchase some. Um, at just over ninety two dollars per share, Activision Blizzard is still trading below the ninety five dollars per share that Microsoft offered to acquire the company. Suggesting some investors are uncertain about whether the deal will go through. The FTC could appeal the judge's ruling or continue fight or continue its court fight. And Microsoft is still negotiating with UK regulators, uh, which also blocked the Activision purchase. Um, uh, so, like I said, this was back in January twenty twenty two. Remember, I told you that that. Uh, they wanted to acquire them for $69 billion uh, on that end. And so, uh, yeah, their, 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 their stocks are, the stocks were just uh, uh, amazing here. In fact, let me show uh, present. Let me go back over here. I want to show here. If I may have it, but okay, I thought I had it, but I don't have it. Um, but uh, but yeah, they they uh, y yesterday was just was just uh, uh, was was just amazing. Um, and uh, I uh, I would say that it was it was it was pretty it it, it was pretty big, um, especially with the stocks, um, you know, uh, the stocks that that happened and. And everything, um, it was just uh, the ruling and um, all. It, I mean, it was just it was just amazing. Um, so uh, it was my thoughts that I kind of figured things were going to go in favor of Microsoft after you know looking at the the transcripts and everything like that. And I figured that it would uh, go great uh, for them, and it would be great for the great for the uh the consumer uh whatnot as well as you know from a business perspective um but uh some people don't see it that way some people just like you know hey no i you know this is going to ruin gaming this is going to i've heard that too in fact there was a lot of uh salty sony ponies just gonna put that out there fanboys now this is not. In fact, there were there were there were more love from PlayStation fans than from fanboys. There was one fanboy that actually deleted his Twitter. Yeah, they didn't want to face the music. Okay, got that. There were several that you know wasn't keen on it. Several, several that that cursed and put their you know put their derogatory uh, deal out there. You know, didn't like that and stuff like that. So. Um, it was pretty much quiet on the the fanboy side of everything. So, um, yeah, normally they'd be the ones, you know, beating the drum and saying, hey, this, that, you know, that. But it was pretty quiet yesterday. Didn't have an ounce of trouble <laughs> on that end. So, but like I said, when you, when you worship the altar of your your favorite console to the point that's all you see and you don't see the the happiness of anything else then hey that that that's saying something so um but you know hey this you know this, this is the world we live in and uh you know that just like i said but my thoughts is i believe everything is going to go good i believe they're going to close i believe that uh you know that they're going to go ahead and um you know make sure that they get these great developers and these great games uh, putting them putting them out on day one day day and date on game pass and um, we're going we're gonna to see a lot of we're going to see a lot of that 
um, going on here. So, but uh, yeah, but I didn't want to stay long uh, here at the coffee table. I just wanted to push this out here, put this content about what happened. Wow, FTC versus Xbox, the updates, everything like that. Like I said, the link for everything that I went over is going to be in the description below. I couldn't get that chart to come up. I don't know why. Like I said, technical difficulties. But anyway, please visit my blog. You see it down there, kingfish737.wixsite.com dot com forward slash the coffee table um but those of you that are on spotify uh you'll see kingfish dot wix w-i-x uh w-i-x-s-i-t-e dot com forward slash the coffee table t-h-e-c-o-f-f-e-e-t-a-b-l-e on that end so yes and i usually post my blogs on that as well and sometimes i do also put out my uh, podcast on the blogs too um, for those of you that probably have not even listened to that, but all right. So I hope that you all have a great rest of the week here. Um, uh, Sunday, we'll be back. Probably a recap of this, um, you know, and everything like that. We'll probably recap this for some other stuff that happened. If anything changes between uh, now and Sunday, we'll talk about it. You know, we uh, that's what we always do. We talk about that all here at the, uh, at the coffee table. And um, you know, I, I, I I enjoy doing this. I enjoy I enjoy doing this here and everything. So once again King seven three seven at the top of the table, aka now. Um remember now, we all live on this we all live on this planet, we all live on this earth. Please be nice to one another. It doesn't it doesn't cost me to be nice. Be kind to one another out there, okay? Alright, once you do that, I promise you have a fantastic week. So be be kind out there, be safe, and definitely, definitely show me back.